Environmental waste is wrecking our planet. But what about the waste inside us that can cause diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes? Thankfully, our cells execute a brilliant self-cleansing process called autophagy. It involves breaking down damaged and diseased organelles and converting them into energy. In fact, the 2016 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded for this process. Let's dive deep into it with some action, adventure and a superhero. Our story is set in a floating city called Cell City. The hero has the coolest appearance, Autophagy Man. One day, Autophagy gets a mission to round up the city garbage and deliver it to the recycling center. Our man jumps on his surfmobile and kicks off, using his keen eye for spotting damaged organelles and protein clumps. He starts to bag them. Sometimes, he encounters pirates like Herpes Virus. They get into a firefight and he captures them as well. He double wraps the membrane to keep the debris from falling and glides towards the recycling factory, the lysosome. There, he fuses and deposits the cargo. The amazing biological machinery gets to work. It pulverizes the garbage and out come the energy blocks. As we saw, autophagy starts with vesicle nucleation leading to membrane formation and ends with the fusion of autophagosome with lysosome. Amazingly, this continuous cleansing of cells might even have the power to slow down the aging of cells. But just like all superheroes, he has his Achilles heel. Sometimes the membrane leaks, leading to garbage piles. When this happens repeatedly, it proves to be a fertile camp for diseases like Parkinson and Huntington to thrive. And other times, the membrane fails to fuse with lysosome. This leads to the rise of evil king Alzheimer's. Let's understand the connection between autophagy and Alzheimer's. In our brain, a defective autophagy leads to accumulation of misfolded protein. This causes toxic aggregates to form. They trap functional proteins, ultimately leading to cytosolic crowding. Neurons die, the brain shrinks, and Alzheimer's sets in. So, why do we have waste in our bodies? Well, it is an inevitable result of cell growth. We have a protein called mTOR that acts as a growth regulator. When our cells have sufficient nutrients, mTOR is active, and that keeps autophagy inactive. When cells starve, mTOR is inactive, and that leads to autophagy being active. Ideally, we want both active at the same time. Research indicates that the ability to modulate autophagy is the Rosetta Stone to decoding some life-threatening diseases. Is this the breakthrough that awaits the next Nobel Prize? Is this the holy grail of anti-aging?